From the forest floor to its canopy, woodlands have the potential to be habitat for a diverse community of wildlife, including insects, reptiles, amphibians, game birds, songbirds, and of course, small and large mammals. In this video, we talk about the pine and hardwood forests and what they would ideally look like for wildlife habitat and what you may want to consider as you go about improving the wildlife habitat in your stand. What would you want to see in an ideal pine forest habitat? First, you'd see an open canopy that allows light to pour onto the ground, releasing the seed bank of a rich understory of native bunch grasses and native forbs to grow. In this habitat, fire would be used as often as every three years to set back succession and to stimulate new grass and forb growth. Fires remove the duff layer and kill woody vegetation that if left unchecked would eventually shade out the grasses and forbs. While you want to make sure that hardwoods are kept in check, they are a natural part of this community. These trees and the soft mass trees like persimmon provide a food source for wildlife and they provide nesting habitat for shrub nesting species like prairie warblers and painted buntings. A good rule of thumb is to keep 5% of the tree species as hardwoods. So what are some of the dynamics of wildlife in your pine woods? The more sunlight you have penetrating to the forest floor, the more species of plants you'll see blooming. The more plant species you have, the more insects they will attract. And of course, the insects attract ground birds like quail and songbirds like field sparrows and towhees. Wiregrass is a keystone native plant species you'll find in healthy plantations. It's stimulated to bloom by fire and its structure provides great nesting for birds like sparrow and quail. When you consider your tree canopy, you'll see that a whole different set of birds like pine warblers, chipping sparrows, and summer tanagers will make their nests up in the branches. The red cockaded woodpecker is a unique species that actually needs a large live pine to nest in. And most often this bird can be seen in mature longleaf pine stands. Let's take a look at hardwood forest habitats for a moment. The most important thing about hardwood forests is diversity in structure and in species. Diversity in structure will mean that you want trees of all different ages, from seedlings to saw timber. Species diversity is also important to provide a variety of cover and food for wildlife. You want at least five hardwood species, including white oaks and red oaks and soft mass species like persimmon to be in these stands. Even the sweet gum is a native species whose seeds are valuable to songbirds. Hardwood forests are hosts to moths and butterflies that make up a large part of our pollinator population. They also serve as nesting habitats for birds like the wood thrush in the uplands and for prothonotary warblers in the bottomlands. Though they may not nest there, many neotropical migrant birds like the black-throated blue warbler stop over for food and rest in these forests. Deer like to shelter in the woods during the day and then browse in more open spaces at night. Wild turkey often gravitate to hardwood forests in the fall when acorns and soft-mast fruits and berries are abundant. Keep in mind that management decisions in woodlands are long-term so if you're considering wildlife in your woodland, start planning before you harvest your trees. Speak to experts like biologists or wildlife management specialists. You may be surprised that small adjustments may make all the difference in the long run. Experts will also help you be realistic in what you can potentially achieve on your land. Give your local NRCS office a call. The NRCS is eager to help you achieve your wildlife objectives and advise you on planning for wildlife in your woodland. Up next, we'll discuss managing cropland for wildlife.